Hey everybody, it's Bluetooth and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Now I want to catch this Pokemon before it runs away. Throw ball. There we go. So I've made it a little bit further, but we need to keep going further and exploring a bit more. We almost made it to some of the stuff I was trying to get to last time. But there is a lot of Pokemon to catch, so I'm, I've been doing that basically. And there's still yeah, more to do. Like this one right here. Gonna try Mega Drain and see how that goes. Although I think this is a grass type, so it's not very effective, is the problem. Bullet Seed. It's not very effective, but it shot twice. Hmm. I should probably just be switching Pokemon right now. I should also be terrestrializing more to try and just do that because I, I, I've not been doing that enough. But I mean, it's kind of overpowered, to be honest. And I'm already overpowered, so. But it should make random encounters near Pokemon centers a lot easier. I just wish the, the Pokemon center stuff could be faster, actually. Do it. Also, this is flying type, I just realized. Interesting. Very interesting. It's not a grass type, but it's interesting. Also, that is very interesting, actually, now that I think about it. Because I'm going against a grass type. I don't have any flying type moves, I don't think, so. That's fine. Means that its effects won't be effective against me or something. But it, that was already the case, so. Probably was a, probably was a bit of a waste. I don't know. Please. Don't heal. That's rude. Okay. It's a critical hit. That's good. I need to throw a Pokeball, though. And I have to wait for my turn to do that. Yelling again? How rude. Throw a Pokeball. And the results are one, two, no, I caught. Cool. Easy. I don't know why it only does that click once, but anyway. I'm so used to it taking three, three ticks and then catching. But anyway, normal grass type, which I think also changes depend depending on the season. I don't, I'm not sure if it's when you catch it or if they just change depending on the season. But anyway, let me just re recharge my thing that I wasted. I, I didn't realize it was going to be a flying type because I was hoping to just power up my grasp type moves to just do more damage basically. But yeah, that's not what happened. I just changed my type apparently. So anyway, how many trains do I need to fight? One trainer here, we need five. Okay, well there was one we passed along the way. So we can go fight that, I guess. Grab a berry. I should probably look at some of these. Makes your Pokemon more friendly, but less of a stat, I think, is what those some of those do. Hello. Oh ho 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 ho! Get ready to see a real chef at work. Okay. Eleanor the cook. That's quite an expression on the face. Like, that's just quite an expression to just have a random trainer have. Go and get the Slowpoke. Slow I think that's a water type. So, this should be super effective. Don't use... Don't... No, please. Don't fall asleep. It's just drowsy. It's fine. Absorb. And there we go. I really want to change some of the options in this, like faster battles, have the UI stay on on, on the screen more, have the automatic text not go away too quickly, but having it skippable would be good. Uh, why Now why did you go and do that? I just wanted to make some sandwiches for a picnic. Well, that's probably a good thing to do. I'll probably do that at some point, maybe. What is, what is this thing? I guess it's just the next evolution. 
of one of these. They're just flying away. That's a shame for me. Rookies unnerve. That's okay. Very wind. I should probably just escape from the battle and have it have the Pokemon do the battle for me. Also, these are back now, so now would be a great time to run from the battle. Also, I should probably switch Pokemon quickly. Please. Thank you. Corva Squares. Squ Corva Squire. Okay. Confusion. Use Power Trip. Ah, uh, that didn't seem to do that much. Psybeam? Oh, uh, I don't know. Ouch. It's a little bit better. Do it again. And how are we doing? Seems pretty good. Let's throw a ball. One, two, three, and... Nope, not quite. Gonna use Taunt. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep throwing Pokeballs then. I don't know, I don't remember what Taunt does. It might make my Pokemon decide its own move. Possibly. Which might be the last move I did, possibly. But anyway, we caught it anyway, so it's fine. We're all good. Flying type. And there we go. Building up that Pokedex. Uh, but I guess now we should probably see what's happening over this way. Since it's basically right this this direction. For whatever's happening there. There's also an outbreak or something. Why do they move around the map like this? Ah! It's fine. I see that Pokemon that ran away. I wonder if that's just around here or something? I don't know. It's another dealing. That's a lot of Pokemon. Okay. Just gonna send you out and see what you can do. Super Potion. It's really hard to tell where the Pokemon are on the map because they keep moving when I turn the camera around. Rain Dance. Well, that's certainly interesting. Just turned around and see all these Pokemon all at once. Running out of health from my Pokemon. What are you? You, 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 what, what, what? Whoa, okay. Interesting. Silazar. Let's use Psybeam. It's using Taunt. Okay, maybe disarming voice. Taunt failed, which is good. It might also be that Taunt locks your Pokemon to target whatever enemy is using Taunt. But I don't know if there's double battles in this. Well, I guess there's raid battles, but I don't know about double battles, so... Where there's two Pokemon that you're fighting. Throw, throw the Pokeball. I just can't catch things. Okay, then. Take my Pokemon out. Um, I don't even know what type this thing is. If I had caught it, I would, pro I would probably know. Absorb, just a little bit. Skiploon, Skiploon fell for taunt. Okay, it's not, the gra grass type isn't very effective. That's not good. It's fine. Just throw a Pokeball. We're running through out of, out of Pokeballs again. Probably because I keep failing to catch. One, two, three, caught. Thank you. Not failing this time. But getting there. 
Finding that leveled up. Dragon normal type. Interesting. I think that's our first dragon type Pokemon. I think I probably want to switch whatever Pokemon's in my lead. Maybe? Or I could just turn around and fight these things. Like that. There's so many of them. Well, there's the R Rotom phone. Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. I take it this means you've decided to join my operation. I guess so. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of the Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Does this Operation Starfall of yours have uh, room for one more member? What? Who are you? The name's Clive. Oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your ha hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here. Isn't that right, Jeremy? Uh, I, uh, I guess maybe. <laughs> Aha, shy as ever, I see. We'll talk about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can just join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the operation, Clive. Great, that settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia. Was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. I see, in that case, I won't press you any further. Good. Now back to business. Let's talk about Operation Starfall. Yes. What would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you will defeat the bosses of, of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? Mean we need to... Out... Oust those bosses from their own- from their roles, somehow? That's right, Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to like, see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. Ah yes, I can see them over there. On the other side of those- those is the proper base. And somewhere within that- that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just ha so happen to lose the bat that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Jeremy. They're basically declarations of war. <laughs> Thank you. For that. I needed that, obviously. Now, all of Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. So, let's say we defeat all, all the bosses and they step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team, the, the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders. And the bases themselves are considerable, a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they'd get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, Jeremy. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from wherever they're hiding. First things first though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright, and what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and, and act as Jeremy's support. 
You're a cur <laughs> a cautious one, all right? I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Welp, go get him, Jeremy. Hmm. <laughs> Director Clavel? You look familiar. I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you, uh, you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Hmm. <laughs> it's kind of amusing. Anyway, I'll, I just love that whole idea of him dressing up like that. It's fine. I mean, it's a completely different person, obviously. Sorry. Not to get confused or anything. It's just another student. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, like, I'll have to come at you in self-defense, you get me? Uh, not turning back. Well, all right. Time for for me to self-defense the snot out right out of you. Team Star Grunt. I guess that's gonna be how all of them are called, for the most part. Seeing out how how door. I don't know what's effective against that other than Fairy Wind, probably. It's not super effective, but it is effective. Oh, that's super effective though. Ah, uh, this is not gonna go well for me. Hmm, don't think I wanna do that. In fact, I'm probably just gonna have my skip loom go down and then work out what to do next. Which is probably gonna involve trustfulizing. Well, there it goes. But what can I really use against it? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, actually it does tell me what's effective against it. That's good. You just have to wait for it to appear. It's just on the far right side. Okay. It's fine. So, ground type is effective and water is effective. Uh, electric is just effective. But fighting is also super effective. I could go go with so many different Pokemon for this. We actually have a good team for this this battle, even though it's just a regular battle. I'm glad that I can actually see that now. It might also depend on what Pokemon I'm fighting because I I know Houndor. Like I I think I've caught one, so that's probably why I can actually see what stuff I need for it. So I need to catch more Pokemon, basically. So I have less trouble. Nice. Hurt itself in confusion. Let's finish it off. It's super effective. Also, I wonder if the... the, the st team star base is also based around a specific type. I defended myself, alright. But it wasn't enough. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? That's right. Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. How's the lovey star? I was really hoping you'd just poof into a cloud of smoke. Hey, Jeremy! Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm through. Ah, uh, but seems you're all set. What? Oh, that looks really cool. Is that you, Carlos? I thought so. What are you doing here? Uh, do you know this little fella? This is Carlos. Carlos. The... I don't even know. 
target it. He's one of the Pokemon uh, the Academy takes care of within its grounds. It's mine now. Ah, Carlos, wait! He ran off. Looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I better chase him after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press out ahead into the base, Jeremy. I'll press on and on and on! I see you dealt with the Grant standing guard. Nice work. Stationed inside the, the, that base is Team Star's fire crew. The Shedar squad. Their, their boss, Mela, is one is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way. Though her methods are heavy-handed, our declaration of war must, must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work uh, inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help, Mela, keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates once you are, you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Shedar squad off the map. Here it is. I'm feeling confident, so this is all fire type stuff. So I guess it's good that I have Barboach with me. A few other things that are effective against it, like ground type. Ah, uh, but I probably want to also... ...heal a little bit before going in. I don't even know what to use. Heal Barbage by 20 points. Heal Barbage by another 20 points. There we go. That's probably good. He raised its charge team star using the first three Pokemon in your part party. Hang on. <laughs> now that's something that I need to know about. We might be alright with this, maybe. Hang on, I need to check what my Pokemon have in their moves. Yeah, I'm not sure. The first two are probably alright, but I'm not sure about the third. Or the, the, this one in Babooch. I guess it doesn't matter that much. As long as I have them ready. Let's see how this goes. That's cool. Hang on, that's not the... It's fine. Careful now, Jeremy. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it Star Barrage. To get through it, you'll need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon you ha and, and have them battle at the same time. That's cool. If your Pokemon gr get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The grunts you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. This sounds like a really cool idea. Beep! <laughs> Heads up, gang! Some, uh, some jumped up kid has wanted in, thinking he can raid our base. Clearly he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget. To our unwanted guest, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. Star Barrage, send, out your, send your Pokemon out with the R button to try to defeat a set number of Team Star's Pokemon before time runs out. When you're taking on the challenge of a Star Barrage, you can have three Pokemon out at the same time. You lose a Star Barrage if you all your Pokemon get too worn out to battle or if time runs out. If one of your Pokemon can no longer battle, you can recover HP by using a vending machine. If you decide you want to give up before time runs out, press the Y button. Okay. Defeat 30 of Star Team Star's Pokemon. Well, hang on. These are not the Pokemon I was... <laughs> These are not the Pokemon that I was trying to set. It's fine. Also, how do I... I can just send them out. Okay. It was being weird with the way that they were sending out, but it's fine. 
Just send them out in every direction. Please. It's being weird with the way that they send them out, but it's fine. I'm getting them done. Are there more Pokemon over here? No. Did I miss any? I think I'm good. It's hard to tell, though. Get him. Can I send out a second one? I guess. I might need to go back and heal. Possibly, or use a vending machine, wherever they are. I don't know. One up there. We have 10 minutes for this. We, we should be good. Refresh to party. So you, you just needed to keep in mind that when you enter this, they also use, they also heal the first three members of your party. Okay. Is there some up here? Yes. The answer is yes. Please. Why is my skip plume in the ground? Under the ground, under the platform. Anything up here? Yes, there is. Hello. I'm guessing I can't catch catch that, probably. Because I can't just throw out Pokemon. It's all just sending them out on their own. Are you actually doing something? Or you, okay. Cool. Just need a little bit more. All good there. We could also probably be dashing around if we could, but we can't because we can't use Karadon apparently. Okay then. Get him. I don't know if that's gonna work. It's working, cool. Just gonna do a bit more of that, and we should be about ready. Yep, 31. I don't know what's happening next now though. Am I Pokemon being healed? Probably. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now.